right, so the card is blank. The card that she's literally holding in her hands. Yeah, I, I still haven't kind of like resolved all of that yet, but I think in the end what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put it on, leave it the back side of card. Um, I didn't, I think that putting a, an actual tarot card is going to do too much to define the painting. Like people will seek out meaning that's um, derived from that card. Do you prefer that meaning is not that overt? Yes, absolutely. I want to leave it to as much interpretation as possible. I think it's um, kind of important that people are able to interject their own experience, background, and bring it to objects of art that they see and relate to it that way, rather than having it defined by the artist or craftsperson or whatever. You know, so I think it's important. Well, why? It, it, it creates more of a relationship between that object and the person, the viewer. Anytime you have to interpret something, I think so. When it's interpreted for you, there's there's more a little um, more objectivity, I think, and it's already uh, you know completely resolved object in and of itself, and you don't have to really bring your own experiences too much as much, I suppose. So drinks. we 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 were out one time having drinks. We were talking about the importance of what Obama was doing <clears throat> in the overall picture of race in America and all this stuff, and how huge leap forward it would be for Black Americans. I think it's kind of she, she, we're we're kind of lost in the moment. We don't really realize it, but she said, you know, in this bigger picture, this is a huge leap forward. I mean, it's very historical. Uh, granted, we kind of like understand that it is historical, but I, I think we don't understand how really historical it is. So we were talking about all this and about the hopes and the, how important this was for her as a Black American. She may be somewhat mixed blood, but in the eyes of most people, that's that, you're, you're black. But you know, I think it's a tendency of people to. Concentrate on what makes them, do, what makes a person in front of you different, mm -hmm. rather than the same. You know, I mean, as, as far as like race. But I do recall that was one of my first impressions I had about her was, you know, she she was able to really articulate the whole idea to me as far as as far as what was happening with Obama and the eyes through um, of, a, of a black woman and so forth. And, and so I decided I was going to kind of take that approach as far as how I was to portray her. But most of the ideas having to come from that perspective are not very universal. As far as how it's translated in the painting, those are kind of my ideas and my personal kind of views of her, I guess. I think the idea of kind of like this notion of hope, you know, is, is important. So there's that kind of like... The, the cloudy skyscape with this, you know, sun-drenched cloud tops and everything, rays coming down, the, 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 the symbol of the sun from the tarot cards, and the idea of the tarot, you know, people who are attracted to fortune-telling and so forth are seeking out hope. So I'm trying to play with this whole idea as something that brings all these different um, aspects of the painting together. So it's going to be a bright painting. It's a bright painting. It's supposed to be cheery, positive. Um, not all my paintings are that way, <laughs> but um, this one is supposed to be that way. And you know, I, I think playing with this, this, it's a very loose, loose idea on this painting compared to some of the other ones. The other ones seem to be even a little bit more concrete. But I'm, I'm happy to play with this idea on this painting and see where it goes. So, and the border, of course, is supposed to be a card too. So it actually has a border. On like she's a tarot card, almost. Yeah. So I'm using the tarot card aesthetic and applying it to the painting too. And what? graphic without trying to overwhelm it. That's why it's the underpainting, the, 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 the sudden graphic. Why did you go with a square rather than a rectangle? Because I love to paint squares. Plus I didn't want it to be too literal. I, th I think it's, you know, it's exactly that. When, when you see it and you don't really notice it, but when, you, when you've been pointed it out and you say, oh... That's kind of like what I want. It's subtle. But whenever it's pointed out, you definitely recognize, you know, the similarities and the aesthetics. I, I don't want it to be so blatant and obvious that, like, oh, that's supposed to look like a tarot card. This, this, oh, this is supposed to be that. But make people work for it a little bit. It's not like a riddle, a visual riddle, but it's at least something that's kind of, you know, uh, makes you ask why this, why that. And, and if you're given enough time, you, you may be able to figure it out. But it gives us residual value in the whole kind of, you know, visual experience. Yeah, so. And I think a lot of the paintings that I do have that, like, embedded text or something that's kind of, you know, an underlayer 
that you may not notice the first or second or third time, but maybe the fourth time, and you'll be like, oh, okay. Some people will see it. Most people won't. And that's kind of like, I, I think that's completely fun. I feel like I've succeeded if only 10% of the viewers recognize that. And that's, that's completely fun. But, but, but I've failed yeah. if mo most people recognize it right away. This is how I feel. So it, it's too obvious if 75% of the people see it right away, I think. To me, I find aesthetic value in that. Uh, I'm very influenced by graphic arts, graphic design, you know, mass media. Uh, in that realm, it's exact opposite. You don't want any mysteries. You know, you have, a billboard has five seconds to make an impression on somebody, and you, you can't be mixing words or effect or anything in what image you're delivering at that very moment as somebody's driving by. It's got to be straight to the point, and it's got to interpret itself directly within that five-second window as people are driving by. And I, 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 while I like to apply ideas from mass media, you know, whether it's just like something from an owner's manual or text from an advertising, you know, piece of advertising or just graphics or whatever, um, I don't like, I, I think that delivering it that way raises it to a different level and creates, I think the residual visual value of a painting to me is important. Like basically not getting everything that it has to offer at the first viewing or within the first minute of viewing it, which is the, basically the, the billboard ethos. Yeah.